This video is going to be making the adapter mount that will allow me to bolt this newer GSX-R brake rotor to the older Honda CB360 hub. Originally, the Honda rotor had an offset to align it correctly with the caliper and has a four bolt pattern to line up with the bolt pattern in the hub. The GSX-R rotor is totally flat and has a five bolt pattern, neither of which work for this Honda CB360 wheel. I modeled and 3D printed a prototype of an adapter plate, an adapter mount that I thought might work to be able to mount the hub and rotor together, as well as provide the correct offset to allow the rotor to line up with the caliper correctly. This has the four bolt pattern on one side, the five bolt pattern on the other side, and internal and external diameters, or inside and outside diameters, that align, up, align with the hub correctly and the rotor correctly on the respective sides. This was pretty easy to print um, once it was modeled. It was very straightforward and everything came out the way it needed to be. However, plastic doesn't work uh, for a actual adapter, so I got this piece of aluminum that I'm planning on turning this mount out of. Uh, it was a project in itself to get this to mount to the mini lathe. That's another video, and I'll link that in the description. Um, but we'll, what will also be tricky is to get these holes all in the exact spots um, and have them to be concentric with the um, with the mount. So I created and printed this uh, template piece that has all of the critical dimensions in one quick and easy to use piece. The outside diameter here will be the outside diameter that matches the rotor. The stepped up part will match the inside or minimum diameter of the hub side um, on the outside. The this internal column, uh, the center column, represents the depth or the offset that this rotor needs to um, be moved away from the hub. And what's not shown, uh, what wasn't modeled on here, is I'm going to create um, a mount a lip for the rotor to sit over, just to give it a little bit more stability, uh, and that will fit in this groove. Um, right here. Also, this template piece has uh, the two bolt patterns already um, correctly modeled and positioned, which when this looks like this, I will be able to drop this in, take a sharpie, and exactly mark uh, every hole that needs to be drilled in the exact place that it needs to be drilled. Um, so that way I can I can exactly mimic this piece that I already tested and know works out of this piece of aluminum. So hopefully it works out and enjoy the video. By the way, I'm not putting music in this time, so leave a comment if you like it better or not.
getting closer to the prototype. I had to get creative here to be able to turn the entire length of the part. The circuit breaker works. If nothing else, this template was convenient to mark the part with the blue dye.
Don't mind that truck key. Shouldn't have left it in. At this point, I'm really pleased with the fit of the rotor on the adapter. Again, the template worked out great to help apply the blue dye in the correct spot. I had to set up the tool post in an unusual way with the boring bar to be able to chamfer the bore a little bit. I decided to do a steeper angle on the taper than that on the prototype to leave as much meat on the part as possible. The taper was only necessary to clearance for the spokes on the hub side, so it didn't need to go the entire length of the part. By the way, this is the reason why you shouldn't pull off the swarf with your fingers. With the taper finished, I did a quick polish of the visible surfaces, and this will be it for part one. In part two, I will be drilling and tapping all the holes and test fitting the rotor and the wheel. Also, definitely comment below if I should start doing more non-lathe motorcycle-related videos throughout the project build. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.